y'all exclusively interviewing Snow the product. Yeah. Straight up the USA. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And who is the lethal powerhouse on the microphone, Snow the product? You asking me who am I? Oh man, um, I don't know, a rapper? Like that's that's a pretty hard question. That's That sounds really deep. Like I should really look into my life right now and figure out who I am. And the foundation, the miseducation of Lauren Hill. Oh shoot. <laughs> 401 CDs, some of your faves. We need the history. What inspired you yes. as an artist? Oh my gosh, you know what's crazy? I've, I've never even had the case for this. I've only had the CD. Um, I mean, do I? Zion, like, Zion made me cry. I didn't even know why. Before I even knew why she made that song, I knew. Um, yeah, this CD is dope as hell. This is everything. Everything is everything, for sure college the thought of being a social worker yeah it's still the product nah i'm a rapper <laughs> yeah um i thought i really wanted to be a social worker i think i still might you know if i ever if this thing doesn't work out i definitely want to help young people figure out what they want to do in life because i've been there and i know how shitty shit can be and i want to let people know it gets better and run up or shut up old school tell us more from the start run up or shut up that's where Drunk Love, one of my songs that's out there right now, for sure, which is my first video to hit a million, um, that was on there. And um, yeah, it was, it was, it's a really fun project. That um, It was just me in my garage recording myself. And Unorthodox, hosted by DJ Who Kid, how did this go? Um, this, this right here is, is dope. Um, yeah, I was still recording myself in my garage still in my studio um running back and forth from the computer to the booth a lot of these songs and then drunk love made a, a re appearance on this one um but yeah holy shit i'm gonna make it unorthodox all these tracks on here really mean a lot to me because um it was when i'm i was really figuring out who and what the fuck i'm doing <laughs> well i'm actually from san jose originally okay. and then was raised in san diego and northern cali both I've always moved around a lot. That was really just because, like I said, I was trying to figure out. As you can see on the back of Unorthodox, there's like all kinds of different faces and like I look like a schizo because that's kind of how I grew up feeling, you know? So I wanted to move around a lot and figure things out and um, I think I got it now. And then Good Nights and Bad Mornings, over 144,000 views proper. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Good Nights and Bad Mornings. Make sure you guys check it out. And now they watch in more than 200k of views on that piff and hundreds of thousands of fans. Yeah, um, yeah, things have definitely been um, taken off and I feel really happy about it. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good about this next year. And the Money Bear and Wolf Wednesday, the merch game is hella tight. Wake your game up. <laughs> yeah, um... The merch game is, is dope. The clothing line, Woke, is, is, is awesome. Because I do want everybody to know that Woke is a clothing line that we all kind of um, have incorporated into what we do. Still get your Snow, the product merch out there. But um, yeah, the Money Bear, he's died and revived and died and revived, but you'll see him on tour. And the signing to Atlantic, who else offered you super dope? Congratulations, we Woke proud. And your favorite kind of coffee. <laughs> My favorite kind of coffee. Um, well, right now I'm like not drinking coffee anymore. I'm like steady on Monster because um, I can just open one and they're available and it's just like you just keep going. And they have the new like mocha coffee protein flavors, which are really cool right now. Like, Tech called me the day after I signed. He called. I remember I was eating and um, and they're like, oh, you know, Tech Nine's calling me. I was like, what? And then you know, he, I was like, he's like, you know, we really want to bring you out, you know, blah, blah. and I was like. I signed yesterday. I was like, what the, I don't know what to do. Yeah, there was other labels interested, obviously. Um, you know, I, all the regular labels that kind of call whenever you start getting a little buzz, you know, Def Jam, Interscope, you know, people. But it wasn't anything as serious as how Atlantic was taking it a lot more serious and was really like telling me, this is what we can do. This is, you know, this is what we want you to do. And I was like, it seemed dope to me. They were going to let me be me. And good nights and bad mornings, the hangover is climbing, and they now know 200k product pushing. Yeah, man, the product pushes. Shout out to all the product pushers. I fucking love you guys. And collabs with Too Short, Trey the Truth, Tech Nine, Ty Dolla Sign, Mr. Key, Lil Flip, Temperamento, and Immortal Technique. <laughs>
yeah yeah a lot of a lot of collabs um a lot of the underground has really you know uh embraced me which is dope because uh, a lot of those rappers have really gained their respect so that's all i really want in this game is my respect and sway source vlad tv vibe south by southwest yeah those are all people that have covered my stuff that's pretty crazy <laughs> and drunk love holy shit hola where, where we, we are, are. Cookie cutter bitches, let us hear about your inspiration in writing. I mean, a lot of times it's really stuff that I either go through or that um, a little bit that I'm go through, a little bit of that I wish I would have done different, so I kind of tell a story. I just kind of get inspired to write, you know, in the morning and, and, you know, however I woke up that day, that's the type of song I'm writing. And so dope they wanna on something else. Meetups with DJ Paul, Snoop drops you in a cameo with Colt 45. Any other highlights? <laughs> yeah, man. Fucking uh yeah, so dope has definitely been getting me a lot of recognition out here. And I gotta thank my bro Tech Nine because he he really has supported me like just cheese. <laughs> He really has supported me, like, just no strings attached, just, he's like, you're fucking dope, I want people to hear you, I know this game is fucked up, and I want you to know there's still good people out here, so I gotta really thank Tech for that. And the Fight to Unite tour with the Cottonmouth Kings, Rock the Bells, now Life and Times, largest crowd you've ever rocked? Um, largest crowd? Uh, I'm not sure, I think it was, uh, I think Denver was a pretty big crowd, I mean, I'm sure there's been other... There's been other huge crowds. Oh, uh, yeah, the Dorito stage in South By. It was like, it was crazy. It was a huge crowd. And your best hip hop memory you've been part of or contributed to? Oh, man. Hip hop? Being the first Mexican rapper, you know, female rapper signed to a major, I think that's, you know, kind of history. So it's like, you kind of can't take that away because I'm the first actual Mexican female rapper on a label. Like, you know, whether any way you want to cut it, there's been other this and that. But um, the fact that I'm, I'm putting on is, is pretty cool. And you got anything to say to Canada? Um, that I want to fucking go to Canada. So I have my passport in my backpack right now. If you guys are down, I'm just going to leave and we're, I'm going to go see you guys. Okay, because I want to go to Canada really bad. And you got any shouts? Shout out to the product pushes, shout out to Wiki Game Up, shout out to Strange Music, um, Funk Volume, Tech Nine, everybody that's been um, helping me out and, and just embracing me in this industry. Thank you very much. A shout out to y'all, man. Thank you guys for the great interview. And shouts to Vince and Edo. Yeah. And Snow the product and the product pushes. And this is the archivist, and you already know the name, y'all. Hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Shout out to the fucking archivist, man. Shout out. Snow the product, man. Bulletproof mind right here. Woo!